What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions franchise. Last week, the Lions were at home for an NFC North matchup with the Chicago Bears, and they ended up winning that game 30-15, to sweeping the season series with the Bears. This week, the Lions are at home again for an annual tradition of a Thanksgiving game in Ford Field, taking on the Houston Texans. The Lions looking for another win to keep this win streak going against the Texans and establish themselves as the top in the NFC North. Matt Stafford versus Tom Savage. Coming up next, Lions-Texans. Tom Savage and the Houston Texans come out to start on offense. 12 touchdowns, 10 interceptions by the Texans quarterback Savage. Second and eight, working from the shotgun. Savage will hand off to Arian Foster up the middle. And he's going to fight his way close to a first down. Third and inches. Savage back to pass here, looking. A little bit of pressure. He escapes, and he breaks a tackle. He gets the first down with his legs. Later in the drive for the Texans, it's third and three. Savage back to pass here. He'll step up here, looking to try to take off again, maybe. But he's brought down by Kyle Van Noy for the sack. And the Texans have to punt Matthew Stafford. And this Detroit Lions offense comes out now. Stafford, 2,700 yards passing. 17 touchdowns, 4 interceptions on the season. 2nd and 10, handoff to Joy Bell up the middle. And Bell will end up gaining 6. 3rd and 5 now for the Lions. Stafford from under center will go down. Almost sacked immediately on that play by Mason. And the Lions, 3 and out. They have to punt. Texans get the ball back. 1st and 10, Savage over the middle will find Quick for the catch and he's gonna break a tackle. He's gonna make his way inside the 40 down to the 36 of Detroit. Later on in the drive, it's second and 11. Savage dumps it off to Andre Johnson. Spin move and Andre Johnson picks up the first down. Third and six now for Houston. Savage fires, caught by Johnson over the middle. He's inside the 10, it'll be first and goal. Houston from the nine. Savage hands off to Foster. Foster's going to make his way down to the five, of gain of four. Second down and goal now for the Texans. Pitch out to Foster, and he's going to find his way to the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. And they take the early lead, seven to nothing over Detroit on an Arian Foster five yard touchdown. Detroit takes over now, second and nine. Matthew Stafford dumps it off to Calvin Johnson. He'll be stopped just short of the first down, though they would pick it up. First and 10, play action. Stafford looking, firing it up deep for Johnson, and he makes the catch at the 13-yard line. That was a 40-yard pitch and catch. First and 10 now from the 13. It's a pitch out to Forrest Hansen, trying to get the edge but he's wrapped up behind the line for a loss of three yards. And at the end of one quarter, the Texans are on top, seven to nothing over Detroit. Lions open the second quarter with a third and 13, trying to capitalize on this drive to tie this game. Stafford will fire, caught by Johnson, down at the one, first and goal, Detroit. Stafford from center, Johnson in motion here. Stafford's gonna throw, and his throw is gonna go off the back of his offensive lineman, incomplete. Second and goal now, and the Lions won't fool around. They'll hand it off to Joyke Bell at the middle for one yard and a touchdown, and this game's tied at seven all. That was a nine play, 65 yard drive in just under four minutes for the Lions to tie this game up at seven. Texans will take over now for the first time in the second quarter. Savage back to pass here. Lots of time. And he's going to fire and find Griffin down the sideline. He will go a gain of 23 up towards midfield. Third and 10 now for the Texans. Savage pass caught by Turbin. And Turbin is going to be brought down short of the first down marker. And the Texans will have to punt. Lions will take over here. 
Stafford on second and five, five will fire and find Calvin Johnson for the first down catch. Later in the drive, it's second and four. Hand off to Bell up the middle. Bell weaving his way up the middle for a gain of eight and a first down. First and 10 now for Detroit from their own 42. Stafford over the middle for Calvin Johnson. He makes the catch into Texans territory now. That was first down. Second and six now for Detroit. Stafford back to pass here. We'll find Ebron the tight end out of bounds at the 28 of Houston. From the 28, Stafford works from the shotgun. Play action, and he goes down. Swearinger with the sack. And the Lions have third and 17 now from the 35 of Houston. Stafford back to pass, finds Golden Tate, and Tate will find the first down marker and pick it up. First and 10 from the 17. Stafford dumps it off to Forrest Hanson. He breaks a tackle. He's inside the 15. He's inside the 10, pushed out at the 9. And Stafford, 9 for 13, 133 yards in this game. Second and 2 for Detroit. Handoff to Hanson up the middle. And Forrest Hanson will find his way down to the 1. First and goal, Detroit. From the 1, Stafford under center will hand off to Hanson. And Hanson caps it off with a touchdown from the 1-yard line to give the Lions the lead. 14 to seven here. Later in the second quarter, the Lions will get the ball back. Third and four. Stafford rolling out to his left here. And he is gonna set fire deep and caught by Golden Tate inside the 30. That is gonna lead to a third and one here. Hand off to Hanson up the middle. He cannot pick up the first down. And that would lead to a timeout by Detroit to decide what they want to do and they want to kick a field goal here right before the half kick is up and it is good and the lions take the 17 to 7 lead into the locker room at halftime we welcome you in now for the ea sports halftime lions have the halftime lead and the ball to start the third quarter here third and three play action stafford going deep here one-on-one -on -one with megatron and calvin johnson comes up with a huge catch down to the Houston 28. Megatron, eight catches, 145 yards on the day. And we'll look at the halftime stats here. Detroit leading almost every category besides rush yards. 167 pass yards there in the first half. And they opened up the second half with a big one. Third and nine now. Stafford back to pass. He'll go down for the third time in this game. And that is going to force Detroit to punt the ball away, pushing them out of field goal range. Houston takes over now, and Arian Foster going to be wrapped up in the backfield by Stephen Tullock on first down. Second and 10 now for the Texans. Savage back to pass, and Sue will get free and sack, fumble, Savage picked up by Taylor, and he's down at the two, and Detroit takes over after the takeaway from Sue and Taylor. First and goal from the two. Stafford play action here will throw this one up to the corner of the end zone for Ebron and he can't make the catch almost had it on the deflection second down and goal now pitch goes out to Forrest Hansen he is gonna get the edge and get the end zone for his second touchdown of the day and Detroit extends their lead to 24 to 7 here in the third quarter Texans take over now down by 17 Savage will find quick and Quick will find his way to a first down out of bounds at the 31. Later in the drive, it's third and 14. Savage dumps it off to Quick, but he cannot hang on to the catch. And the Texans will have to punt the ball away. Detroit takes over, first and 10. Stafford firing deep, caught by Eric Ebron at the 49-yard line. First down, Detroit. Later in the drive, it's third and seven. Stafford a quick pass outside to Ernest Sherrod out of bounds at the Texans 31. The Lions on the move again from the Houston 31. Hand off to Bell up the middle and Bell finds running room up the middle. A gain of 11, first down Detroit. Stafford working from the shotgun now, play action. He'll fire as he's hit. Ernest Sherrod with a catch, breaks a tackle, taken down at the four. 
and it looked like a face mask, but it'll be first and goal from the four. Hand off to Hansen, getting outside here, and he's gonna find the end zone again for the third time. Forrest Hansen has found the end zone on this Turkey Day game, taking the lead 31 to seven as we head to the end of the third quarter. Detroit ahead. 31 to 7. We enter the fourth quarter with the Detroit having the ball. Stafford going deep. And once again, Calvin Johnson coming up with a catch. That play has worked three or four times in this game. Second and six. Stafford back to pass. No one applying pressure here. And Stafford will find Megatron down inside the 10. Down at the 8. It'll be first and goal, Detroit. Play action on first and goal. Stafford rolls out and he gets taken down. Sacked again and this time he is down and injured on the play. Looks like he's holding his stomach there. Maybe it's a rib. We will have to wait and find out. He's trying to run it off here on the cycle machine. And we hope we can get him back in this game. And instead, Eli Manning comes in. Second and goal. Manning's pass here. The outside is broken up. It'll be third down and goal from the shotgun here. Manning takes the snap. He looks to pass, but he will be sacked on the play by Brown, and that will lead to a Detroit field goal to make it 34-7. Tom Savage and the Texans take over now, trying to get anything here. Griffin with the catch on third and two, and he'll pick up the first down out to the 44. Third and one, Savage back to pass here, and his pass off the mark low and incomplete. It'll be fourth and one, and they will be going for it. Savage pitched out to Arian Foster, trying to get outside, but Steven Tulloch in there with the tackle, and Detroit will take over on downs up 34 to seven. Stafford back in the game now, probably should be sitting out, but we wanna get some reps in here. LaMichael James with the carry and he's gonna gain six and a Detroit first down. From the 26, Stafford, play action, rolling out to his left, fires, caught by Ebron, and Eric Ebron will get the first down catch up to the 15. From there, Stafford will work from the shotgun, and he's gonna get hit here, avoids the first attempt, but the second one gets him, and that injury is on the Texans, not Detroit. Second and 16, Stafford back to pass here. Fires it over the middle, caught by Megatron, down to the two. First and goal, Detroit from the two. Stafford will hand this one off to Forrest Hansen up the middle, and Hansen will find the end zone for another touchdown, number four. He's having a great Thanksgiving Day game here. And that will be enough for Detroit to take this one on Thanksgiving. 41-7 over the Houston Texans. A big day for Forrest Hansen. Your final score, 41-7. Detroit wins this one. Detroit has a monster day on offense. Staff with a big day. 20 for 26, 361 through the air. No touchdowns, though. Forrest Hansen a big day, 10 rushes, only 28 yards, but four of those carries were for touchdowns. Calvin Johnson, 11 receptions, 225 yards on the day. Kyle Van Noy, five tackles, one of those was a sack. And we take a look at the NFC North standings. Detroit has a two-game lead. The Vikings on a two-game losing streak. The Packers have won three straight. And we look at the NFC standings as a whole. Detroit slotted in there at the number three spot. Eagles and Seahawks both undefeated at 11-0. And coming up, the Lions have a hard stretch of games coming up. Five games left in the regular season. And Detroit's schedule goes as is. At the Green Bay Packers. Then against the Minnesota Vikings. Then against the Green Bay Packers. Then against the Colts. And then they finish up against the Vikings. These next three games will more than likely determine if Detroit can win the NFC North. If they can get two out of three, they have a very good chance of winning the NFC North. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.